Hi everyone, this is Mohit and welcome back to Engineers Tech Up channel. So in this video, we will discuss Bipro interview questions and answer for automation test engineer two to five years of experience. So let's move in the first question. The first question is always uh, tell me about yourself. So if you are already uh, watching my videos, you can uh, skip this question or if you are uh, new in this uh, video or in my channel. So please go through and follow this in the tell me about yourself. I, you know, you have to tell your name, your current organization, your relevant experience, a skill project and roles and responsibility. Again, so whatever the profile you have shared, they can pick the same and you have to prepare well here because whatever you, you are going to speak the same thing, they will note down and they can ask you the cross question. So here, a skill set is very important. You, if you have a, you know, whatever your a strong point is that you can highlight here so the interviewer can pick the same thing and they can ask the question. So you having the more possibility to select in the interview because whatever you are preparing, that thing, you know, whatever the strong point you have, you have to highlight that things. These are the tips you have to apply and roles and responsibility also important. So what is your contribution in your project? So when you will speak the roles and responsibility, here you will you know highlight the things that interviewer is able to find you what is your level and all second question is scenario and scenario outline in the cucumber the scenario outline keyword can be used to run the same scenario multiple times with a different combination of value the keyword scenario template is synonyms of the keyword scenario outline copying and pasting the scenario to the use the different value and quickly become the tedious and repeated task. You can see here we are passing the multiple value like scenario eat five out of 12. Given there are 12 cucumbers uh, and you can see when I eat five cucumbers. So what we can do in the scenario outline, we can make as a dynamic data we can pass here. You can see how we can write in the scenario outline and it is how to, you know, it is very easy to maintain. So we can collapse these two similar scenario into the scenario outline and scenario outline allow us to more consciously express this scenario through the use of template with, you know, conical and delimited parameters. So scenario outline. So here you can see we have use here conical bracket and pipe symbol to pass the dynamic data. You can pass any data and you can execute any times. Next is your background keyword in Cucumber. So background is nothing but whatever the common steps are there, we can write inside this the background might be if you have a multiple scenario and just I can give you example 10 scenarios are there login and logout is the common functionality right so that common functionality we can write inside this background check home page functionality user is logged in and user is able to log in user is enter you know email so these are the common steps so that steps I have written inside this background and scenario you can see so that is the use of background so what is collection in java so i found the many automate you know uh, automation test engineers or manual tester if you are uh, starting your interview if you are a manual tester or if you are having the gap if you want to start your career in automation testing profile most of them people are like that but what i could observe the many people are struggling to learn the core java and 75 percent question almost the question they're asking from the core java first then they will move in your selenium and cucumber so that is a very important things so you know i have designed a very simple way of the core java if you are a beginner you will become the master so i have launched my course on udemy guys so if you want to you know looking for some paid and you know systematic way of this course this course will help you not only to clear all the concept you are able to crack any interview 
so you can see the price of udemy is very less so this is a very affordable course so you can explore your java knowledge so what is you know you know why this course is from you know different from the other tutor why because here i have a start from why java i have given some notes also and real time practical example as well so this will help you to clear the concept when you will start your interview you are able to you know present yourself you, you know you can do the revision in a very simple manner as well so every you know <laughs> every you know lecture we having the notes you can you know uh, you can make the notes also and you can explore your knowledge so definitely you can you can see i have highlighted all the oop concept right that is the very important and a lot of the question they are asking from the oop concept then a string you can see be having the 1.47 minute for the string so here you will get more clarity and you will get many question as well you can see now we having the collection so two hours 2.2 hours we have spent on the collection so you you cannot miss anything on the collection you know topics so this course will have very helpful for you if you are automation tester or if you want to start your career in development as well so if you are struggling so you can just go through this course and definitely this course is very helpful for you guys so you can search or i can you know uh, link i will uh, enter in the description al also video description you will get it so i don't want to spend much time for that so again i'm going to continue the questions so collection so what are the collection in the java so super travel is your super interface then sub interface is your collection then we have a list queue and set here we have a list array list link list vector stack in the queue we have a queue you know priority queue dq and array dq then we have a set has set link has set sorted set and tree set again we have a map sorted sorted map has map tree map and linked map so i have in that course i have you know explained very well with example and with theory if you want to you know what is the important part of you know uh, for the core java we have a collection we have a oop concept we have a string interface abstract class so i made that course you know very simple way and you are able to explain that next question is what is the difference between maven clean and maven test okay so maven clean means clean the project and remove all the files generated by the previous build and maven test run <sighs> sorry guys so maven test means run the all the test cases in your project so it will clean the project and it will run the you know all this another question is what is the difference between the shop and rest api shop stand for simple object access protocol and rest stand for represent representational state transfer one second shop is a protocol and shop was designed with a specification it include wsdl files which has the required to information on the what the web service does in the additional to the location of the web services rest is your architectural style in which a web services can only be created as a result restful services if it follow the constraint of wing so in the rest we have a client server and we have a you know a stateless server catchable layered server uniform interface then another difference is shop cannot make use of rest since shop is a protocol and rest is your architectural pattern so, so in the shop you cannot use for the rest but in the rest can be used for the shop as well under lane protocol for the web services because uh, in the end it is a just and the architectural pattern shop can only work with xml file guys so but as a shop uh, shop message all the data pass in the xml format so rest permit the different data format such as a plain text html xml json but most preferable format is your json language so this is your difference between the rest and shop so thank you so much for watching this video and please share and subscribe bell icon to get the new video notification if you are a very new in the channel so my channel name is engineers tech hub you can go in this playlist 
you will get a very you know pre content here so i have made you know all the top level of the mnc company if you are planning to start your interview or if you want to do the practice for the interview then this playlist is your very helpful for you guys why because you can see i have collected all the top level of the mnc you know interview question and answer so before going for the interview you can take your interview you can just you know take the overview of that you can see we have a oracle nest technology it chain botech adp deloitte genpact scl you can see i have collected all the top, le top level still you know i am going to work on this you know this interview question and answer guys so let me show you another playlist that is also very important okay so this playlist is for you know helpful when you did not work in the real time and if you are trying to get the job in your automation testing profile so this playlist what i made what the challenges you have faced in your automation profile what is your day to day activity how the agile is working so these all the important common interview question and answer so please refer my video or if you are struggling to learn the core java please go through this course also you know definitely you will get more confidence and you can crack any interview thank you so much for watching this video please share and subscribe don't forget to press bell icon to get the new video no notification see you guys we'll see you in the next lecture see you bye